Hi, my name is X29. Hi, my name is Ali. Hello, Ali. All right. Hi. All right, you stop. Okay. So this video is going to be about the new devour change and how Riot does not care about actually testing things and doesn't even care about their game in terms of what is like the competitive aspect as in actually being good at the game instead of just having items do the work for you or the champion doing work. No mechanical skill. So, I haven't even finished re really reading this, but let's start from the top. So, ah, uh, well, actually no, this is bullshit. I don't know why Riot puts this fucking filler bullshit. Okay. <laughs> let's start with the current devour and its infinite stacking. Initially, our assumption was that y'all, what? Y'all, okay. Y'all were really invested in the concept of infinite stacking and infinite power. But as we've tried to iterate around this must-have mechanic, I don't know why they say must-have mechanic. It's just, and it's just something with that. I, I, we are, they're retired. We've come to realize it just doesn't jive. Jive well. I've never heard the word jive in my life. Yeah, I don't. It's, um... That's an odd word to use. Yes. Jive well in a PvP game. Either you're stuck in that always be farming mentality, or you're so far behind the enemy jungle that you regret many decisions then that brought you there in the first place. Nobody likes lagging behind in this a stack marathon. So everything they said here is complete bullshit. They are literally comparing Night Blue 3 Shivana, like was it, twenty three minutes in, fifteen stacks or eighteen stacks. Complete it's garbage. 12. Oh, twelve stacks. Even better, right? Yeah. Let's get a lot of applause for Night Blue Three. Yeah, man, show them how to jungle. The new meta, man. Yeah. Okay. So, um, first off, infinite stacking is not a problem. It's about how strong it scales with other items. As in, Nasus's Q, for instance, they, I believe they nerfed him at one point. Someone told me. Uh, to the point where he doesn't get as many stacks with his Q. I forget. It's something like that, though. But Nasus, for example, is Rai going to use the logic of infinite stacking is makes Nasus OP? No, that's not true. The thing that actually counters Nasus is building armor because his Q is countered because his his Q damage only ramps up. It is it's just raw damage. It doesn't actually crit or anything. It doesn't do anything. It's just on hit along with his Q. So just like Devour, um Devour, the thing with Devour is that you could ha have a let's say two hundred let's even say two hundred stack devour. That would never happen in a game. It, it, it's countered by MR because a champion like Aatrox, Shivana, or Rek'Sai that can build this Devourer, they do not build Magic Pen. So if you have, let's say, one MR item, it'll do 65% less damage pretty much. So that Devourer will only do about, what is it, 70 damage. So yeah, 70 damage a hit, which is complete garbage com for considering as 200 stacks. Okay, and if this was only a hundred damage devour, guess how much damage it does? Thirty-five damage. That is not powerful all for an infinite stacking item. They're just exagger like how they say this is exaggerating the word infinite stacking as if it scales well into late game when it's just something added onto it. Because you sell devour, like, because my girlfriend's build, she actually made my devour like my champions that build devour better because mm. of her suggestion of building along with Mama Mortis. A Phantom Dancer and an IE, as in you would sell your Phantom Dancer for the boots, buy IE to replace the Devourer, and what? You mean your boots for the IE? I mean oh, for the Phantom Dancer. Well, sell your boots for the Phantom Dancer and sell the Devourer for the IE, and the, it'll do more damage in Devourer. And you pretty much like an AD carry. And the Maw Mortis is the magic resist item you buy instead of Spirit Visage, and it makes absolute perfect sense because Spirit Visage is just health and health regain. It's good on someone like Amundo who doesn't actually build any AD, just pure tank. And a champion like Vi, she actually has AD ratios and actually has builds lifesteal items such as Blade Rooking, as in the only lifesteal item you should ever build on her. So, I really thank you for that. Thank you. Yes, she right. benefits from the AD because yes. she's staying in fights for so long. Can you give me a kiss? I kiss you. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, what? Stop. Okay. So, then Riot says either you're stuck in the always be farming mentality, which is not true. Like, me and Allie, we do not always farm. We do smart decisions. It's not a farming style, it's a, it's a smart mechanical and efficient style which is something that pretty much everyone lacks in this game they just play champions and just get fed and just 
right click and use the abilities. They don't actually think, hmm, where is XX? If I do X, well, like they can't think on the fly. Which and they buy monopods on buy. Yeah, yeah people, like, and they think <laughs> that you need purple smite on jungles and stuff. Not anymore. You don't need that ever since they nerfed the jungle and they, they chilling just... smite is okay. Yeah, broken, absolutely broken. Uh, ch chilling smite does true damage. I feel like Riot just adds true damage to make things instantly viable or something. So, and then they say, or you're so far behind the enemy jungler that you regret. You're so behind the enemy jungler that you regret many decisions that brought you there in the first place. Like, how do you be behind? One, if you gank, you get stacks, and if, if, whatchamacallit, wait, if you gank, you get stacks, and if you get, like, vision such as the scuttle crab, it, well, gives one stack, and it gives vision, and causes pressure because you're in the middle of the river, which is a, pretty much, like, it's, it's like the road, pretty much, to lanes. So... I don't know why they they act like Devour itself does no damage when Devour twenty five magic damage on hit is pretty much like well, you know if you get fifteen stacks it's pretty much the same as the warrior item which gets forty AD because it's added on to your each hit and it'll be better especially like I I would even argue that Devour initially is just as good as Warrior early because of the fact that it gives you attack speed along with 25 damage on hit. Because if you build f pure, pure, what should we call it, um, attack speed in the jungle, like, all you do is build attack speed items. You will not clear the jungle fast at all. However, if you build all AD, you will clear it fast, but not efficiently. Efficiently. Oh God. And if you build both out, but in the perfect balance, it'll pretty much make you, you know, the perfect balance of items to clear efficiently and kill things efficiently. Okay, so as we're done with that, we can go to so, so some goals first. Since this enchantment has always been that I want to farm the jungle pickup, that is not true. It's the this champion sucks with AD enchantment, and I don't want to be a pussy with Cinder Hulk, so I'm going to build an item that synergizes well. It's like with Aatrox, why wouldn't you not build it? It gives magic damage on hit. He already does a lot of magic damage, so it makes building gets him hard. And it makes his W proc more, and has it's it's just it works so well with them. It's they think that this item, like they don't take into account that the champions that actually do well with them. They think like, oh, since Gragas isn't building Devour, it needs a buff. Like, no, it's a target. Why would you build Devour and Gragas? So we decided to p keep the transformation via blood of my enemies while taming that always be farming mentality. A hard cap means that if you're behind in the Devour race, you're not just perpetually behind the curve. You can double down your farming efforts to catch up. Additionally, once that transformation does take place, you're not daydreaming about your next meal. You're sated and ready to humble. No, yeah, that's the funny thing. So, Bryant thinks that instead of infinite scaling, we're going to make you have a hundred and, well, actually, 95, 90, mm -hmm. yeah, 95 stack devour in within 16 to 20 minutes of the game. Essentially free. Yeah, for free. And... I rarely have 85 stacks in Devour, and it's completely broken. Like, I I just don't like how they think that just because of a champion buys Devour, they're going for a late game. No, some champions actually work very well with Devour, and it's very underestimated. People, the only defense people have ever said to me about, oh, why Devour on Rek'Sai, for example, they just say, but 40 AD, that's a lot of, that's, that's, it's such a bland statement. They don't take, take into account how she generates more fury with her Q, lower cooldown Q because of it. No, they don't care about that. No one thinks of the game like that. They just think of numbers. That's all they see the game as is a bunch of numbers. No, it is not like that. So, I should call it. Okay, so a hard cap means that if you're buying the, de the Devour race, you're not just... Wait. Oh, no. I already read this. Okay, I'm retired. So, moving on. Shut the fuck up. What take the... Take a deep breath. Slow down. It's hot in my room. Okay. Just take a deep breath. Right. You're talking Second, so we've also updated the way <laughs> this this thing builds. Okay. Why they call it, why they call you is this this thing? Whatever. No respect. <laughs> the way this thing builds stack in the first place. A simple char change is that devour builds on a monster takedown, assist or kills. I like that because on Champions of like Shivana, as long as middle lane isn't zero four and it's demanding blue up, in which I will not give them it even after this patch, um I'll give them it. So that's good. Are Rather you scrolling down? Why? Because it's not showing you scrolling down. No, I'm not scrolling down. Oh, okay. I, I'm reading what's in front of me. Wow. Okay, nice. sorry. Nice autism attack. 
Wow, how embarrassing. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. So, um, rather than just kills, so you don't feel bad when you give away that blue buff or when Clissa secures a dragon with a mega rend. Um, I, oh, it actually applies to, so, so large monster actually goes towards epic monsters as well, I believe. So that means that when you get that dragon with the team, you don't even need to get the last, like, okay, like you don't even need to get the last set. You get five stacks from a dragon, which is insane. That, that makes, no, it's going to be crazy on Shivana. And so, so let's just keep on reading. Secures so the, the dragon with a mega rend. Also, speaking of dragon, we are really trying to, Incentivize devour jungles to focus on contesting jungle objectives like the Rift, Skuller, or Dragon, as it gets them out into the sun. They can't be playing League all day while also giving. Well, that's what people do. What the fuck kind of joke is that? <laughs> yeah, way to make fun of your community, but they feel bad for reading that actually. While also giving enemies clear ways to slow your devouring roll. No one slows me down. No one can stop me from farming. <laughs> no. Okay. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um. Uh. To me, th those just seem like words. Like, like it's not like buying Devour makes me want. It, it's really funny because they're literally acting like people who buy Devour instead of like they buy Devour and they're like, oh, like this is literally how they think. They think that when people buy Devour, they sit in bushes just like everyone else, and that they're playing the late game somehow without farming. And they think just because of an infant scaling item that they're gonna do well. No, the funny thing is that no one even buys Devour anyway. So how can you say people have this mindset when no one buys the item anyway? You're acting like you buy pretty much all um, what? Sorry, when you said that, I, I thought of this. When you said that no one can slow you down, I ha I had to. <sighs> Cause I, I love this song. Yeah. After. Okay, so, <laughs> oh, you're very silly. So, where was I, baby? Tell me. Well, fuck. Well, the thing that's broke. Oh, fuck. What was I talking? Oh, Quick, think fast. You're, you're, ta you're talking about like the the monster thing. Um, mm, like how you get on Oh yeah. This. So pretty much, Riot created an artificial, like meta, so to speak, with devour junglers. Where they apparently sit in bushes just like tank junglers, aka Gragas who build Cinder Hulk, and the sit in bushes all day. Which is not true at all. They don't take us this consideration. Me and Allie's playstyle, where we farm like crazy. Not like, and when I say crazy, I mean we do damage to them. So we can actually kill them fast and gank at the same time. Aka mm -hmm. efficient playstyle. And no, they, they just don't take that consideration. They think that we build Devour into Warmogs and fucking <laughs> Randuins. Like, no. Like, the reason, like, the thing is, is that Dev Devour is better on Savannah and Aatrox because of the attack speed and on hit. You don't build Devour on them for the influence scaling. It's simply because it's better on them. That's all. And the thing with it is, that with this change, it makes though these champions that work well with Devour already the best champions in the game because of this change. So, these people are saying... Kale is going to finally be viable are <laughs> absolutely why are you laughing is it because oh, that guy right yeah yeah yep. my, yeah my kale is gonna be so viable i get to enjoy me kale i miss playing her well honestly if you miss player so much why not just player you know every champion is just fine if as long as you had the right build and the right play style like this is like release play the rune king when we kept on we said some dumb junk i saw a bunch of ramish junk like random jugglers whatever would build play the rune king supports build play the rune king everyone built play the rune king and it was just the most dumb patch and this was in challenger level games and it brings me to also when riot's like we saw supports and top lane building luden's echo and it's like <laughs> i have never seen a top lane or a support build a luden's echo but in any of my challenger games but guess where i did see it in silver games luden's echo blitzcrank luden's echo like what what else is there fucking braum it's like fucking braum okay like all this dumb shit and I, it just shows you, this is Riot's design. You're like, hmm, I saw this in silver. It must be okay. Man, people are building items. 
and yet, Greg yet <laughs> Greg is gonna have ninety percent ban rate. Hmm, this is just fine. I am a writer. I am no game balance. Oh, ninety percent of junglers build Cinder Hulk. Hmm, that must be fine. We approve of item diversity, and the only way they make item diversity is by making an item completely broken. And right now, the only reason Cinder Hulk's being built so much currently still is because it has that stigma of. This item is broken. Just like when Evelyn was considered troll in season one, remember? When people get yeah. banned for playing Evelyn? I remember even when they reworked Evelyn, she still had that stench of like, this champion's a fucking troll. Report her. Yeah, so, like we lost the game, she locked in Evelyn, we're done. Yeah, no, but that isn't me. She was just fine. And yep. right now, Cinderhawk's the same thing where it was so broken that it literally brainwashed everyone in the League of Legends community to think it's the best thing ever. Still, even after all these nerfs, and now we're gonna see the same thing happen with Devour, where it's gonna be like, wow, this is viable. Wow, this is viable. Wow, look at that. Tax speed jump is a new thing. And then, even after they nerf it, and like, we're sorry. We, we yeah. made a huge mistake. And, and even, let's just say they got rid of Sated completely, and they kept these buffs, I guarantee you, everyone would still build this item. I guarantee you, at least 60% of junglers would build Devour and play attack speed junglers. You know why? Because it's always been good. And Nightblue saying, oh, it's the new meta. No, it's always been uh. good. <laughs> just no one does it, because they're a bunch of pussies who can't fucking think for themselves. They just have to be unoriginal people and say, that's true. You're just well, lucky. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when people, when you build damage, you have to play smart. It's a different play style. Yeah, it's like playing AD carry. Yeah, but the, well, you but can't run the thing, you the thing is, though, is that even you're, though you're building pure damage, you're, you're not like an AD carry because you have male, me, melee champions have better space stats than AD carries. They have more utility than AD carries. They have way, way more burst than AD carries early game and mid game. Well, and the way we build, we have a lot of sustain more than AD carries. Yep, yep more sustain than AD carries. And the jungle gives you sustain because of the machete and the the jungle champion. Well, machete is already default um, health reading, but it's jungle item. And pretty much, if they buffed, like, I would have no problem with... Like, all these changes to me seem like quality of life. Like, I honestly would would agree if Riot just gave all these buffs, because I think that nerfing it from 40 damage to 25 was very harsh. And I say it's very harsh because I think it actually did make jung like junglers that were seeing play, such as Kale, like, not as good. And not even, I think it can be viable, like, even now, but it's just not as good. But not like with the Save the Bar, where, where it's not, not going to matter. It's just what champion is best with it. Because it's not as abusable. Because it literally doubles the effect of all on hit effects. And people saying, which end? Oh, like the people saying, oh, which end with this will be broken? It's not about which end. All you need is Devour the 30 stacks against Satan and Blade the Rune King and I guarantee you you will one shot anyone in the entire game as in one shot as in use one whole roll of spells as in Rithrexai if you I said I really weird okay I if I E and then W and auto Q and then E they're dead 100% they're dead too much damage a completely broken your early game you're gonna literally do 85 the the 75 magic damage on hit. So that means Rek'Sai would do... How much? Yeah, her magic damage, she would do an extra 250 plus magic damage with her initial combo right now. You know how broken it is? It's completely fucking broken. Like, and, and the, but the reason I say that if they just did this is because if they made it 30, it would make junglers like Kale clear better and also... What's it called? Like feel better because initially when you buy on a jungle like Kale, she's rather weak until she gets items. So this would help her out. The dragon would help her out because it, I I like changes like this because it, it does enforce team play, enforces those objectives. I really like this. Large map. I like this because it, it doesn't make you oh I have to give away blue buff because blah blah blah. But like, I'm not almost, do not give away blue buff. This is zero four. Do care if they quit the game, report them, make us submit a ticket to the right, get them banned. And the champions, um. <laughs> I agree with this just because they buffed everything else. They're pretty much transferring power from the champion takedowns, which can be unreliable at times to actual objectives in the game. So, really, it's it's pretty sad that um the ending is third. For that say Devour on hit buff, we were going for some natural synergy with Devour's on hit damage, but are very aware of the potential craziness so that, that can come from it. So, they're pretty much already saying, 
Sated Devour on its own is absolutely bonkers, okay? And are, are you laughing at it? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, yeah just... I use the weird word. I never say bonkers. Okay, so but are very aware of the potential craziness that can come from it. Things like Blade of the Ruin King's passive proc, and or besties will just not come to mind. But we're hoping to exercise some real creativity in this space. <laughs> Go forth, devour. Wow, so cool. No, it's not creativity. You know what it is? It's abusive. It's ruining the game. No, literally the whole patch is ruined. This, the whole next patch, uh... it, it's gonna be like it, it's like saying, oh, the new jungle items, um. Like, in the, when this original patch was released, like, this new season, it says, wow, Warwick's finally viable, blah, 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 blah. No, via Warwick was completely broken. Warwick oh was perm banned for... No, you know how annoying that was? They were fucking yeah. uh, a bunch of 12-year-old kids. They're like, oh, uh, smite, wait a second. Then, they literally oh, like, close they're, their they're, eyes they're down. Open. No, they don't do it right. That's They yeah. do it completely wrong, and they still get the kill, because it's fucking broken. And they act like they're tough shit. And then they got ELO. All these people got freaking ELO with Warwick and think they're the best shit. And then they went down. It ruins rank. Yeah. So this patch is going to ruin rank's competitiveness, the little that is left of it, and make it complete shit because of the the fact that they're even doing this dumb change, which doesn't actually take any mechanical skill. It's just right click. That's all it is. Yeah. <sighs> like, and then they're gonna get their jung like their jungle win rate stats up, and then after and then they're gonna, they're, they're gonna be shit. in my queue and be like, oh no, I have a better win Dude, rate. I got a, I want a fifty game win streak. Yeah. That's very dumb. That's very sad. People like mechanical skills. The yeah. junglers are apparently the the least mechanical of of all the roles. Apparently, even though like I would say everyone else is least not mechanical at all in the jungle except me. I am different. I am better than all these other shit wow. people. I guarantee you, if I was sassy, right? Yeah. But I bet you, uh, if I was in, <laughs> shut up. Bro. If I was in LCS, I, if, if I did this build, like the, how I build and how I play, it would work. You know why? Because it's a play style. How these people play, people are like, man, if this Gragas right now sitting in this bush had to devour, it had, not say devour and play the Rune King, he would be doing bad. That's literally how people think. Okay, so Riot can think that should should Sh Shivana doing well? How much damage would it be? It would be um, oh yeah, twelve point five percent max health damage in magic, and yeah, W and on 40, hit damage, forty eight percent blade of the ruin king damage, was it two hundred fifty ish uh, devour damage. With one hit is balanced. Sure, guys, you're doing a great job at balancing games. It's creative, isn't it, though? It's a game, after all. Who cares about how the game is balanced? Just have fun, guys. Be, be Act like you're good at the game by building these obvious broken items that are going to ruin the integrity, integrity of the game. There we go. Sorry. Jeez. Yeah, and everyone's going to die in one shot like fucking Vygar Nuke. Yep. Like, uh, for, and... It's gonna be for free. Like, I mean, that's really it. I mean, we're running out of time. That's the thing. Um, it's fine. We have the list of things we wanted to talk about. It's fine. I don't need to. Why you make that in a future video? Um, yeah, you could do that in a future video, but for yeah. now, we're done. TLDR, Twitch is sexist and shit. Bobo bans my girlfriend. Thinks it's actually nine, aka me. And they don't respond to me. Yep, and we, they only respond if we can talk to someone that knows Twitch. Yep, that's how the world works. People have to go to Reddit or be well known to get any responses. The support site doesn't actually work. Okay, so I guess that's it, right? Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. Uh, kiss me. Mm, okay, bye bye. <laughs>